Well, look at that. I don't even recognize myself. Um, my hair is getting out of control, so I'm just wearing this hat to not distract from the, the centerpiece of this video. <laughs> there boys and girls give me a break man here on my give me a flake man channel answering two videos this first video uh, response is to rock and he uh, made me a video the other day asking me about hiragana and how to use it on a PC and I gotta tell you man I don't know I don't know about computers uh, I use Macs I don't know about your kind of computer so first questions like that you just have to do a Google search you know and a lot of you guys who have basic questions, uh, try to do a Google search before you hit me up because um, I've got enough idiots <laughs> who are bothering me, who are not even sub to me, who email me with like, how do you say this in Japanese? You know, I, I don't need that kind of, those questions, it's annoying. Uh, just because I get so many, you know, if only one person did it, it wouldn't be so bad, but it would be annoying. No, no matter what the question was, it would become annoying eventually if enough people asked you, even if like um, even the question was something uh, <laughs> was uh, something nice, you know. Like, can I give you some money? Uh, even I think that would be annoying after a while. <laughs> can I give you some money? Give some money. Okay, maybe that's not a good example. Okay, I probably always be happy with that question. All right, number two. Um, the next uh, e video made to me recently was Jamie is too cool. He's a new guy, so welcome to YouTube, Jamie. Um, your question is, can you use hiragana and uh, kanji in the same sentence? And the answer is yes, you can use hiragana, katakana, and kanji all in the same sentence, and even romaji. So uh, that kind of those kind of questions too, you can all you'll eventually figure out yourself. Uh, I'm glad that you're you know finding a reason to make a video, but for you know the basic stuff like that, try to do a little um, footwork yourself. I, I recommend I know i k n o w dot k o dot j p. That's www dot I know .ko.jp. It's got great free courses for learning Japanese and improving your reading and writing and all that crap quickly. So do that. You know, go go over there and put some work in. It's uh, learning Japanese is a lot of hard work. You're gonna have to sacrifice. You're gonna have to spend a lot of nights alone, not looking at pornography. Sorry, there's no. I mean, you could you could try finding a Jap. I don't think there's any basic uh, porno Japanese learning sites. So. Uh, I'm just kidding with you, of course, but <laughs> no, seriously, I know it's a good, it's a good uh, site. Go check that out and get some of that work done. Uh, one little rant about Japanese language that has always bugged me is a lot of Japanese like to brag, our, Jap our language is so difficult. It's the di most difficult language in the world. I don't know uh, how they figured it out, but I heard once that Czechoslovakian was actually more, more difficult than Japanese. I don't think Japanese is actually that difficult. The pronunciation is quite easy. Um, the biggest problem you have is you'll f have difficulty finding people to practice with. Because a lot of Japanese don't want to even, you know, as soon as they see a foreigner, especially like uh, Jamie is too cool, or or actually Rockham to Gamer 81, both of you are obviously foreigners. I mean, you're black, and the other guy's blonde, blue eyed. Um, and this is kind of freaks Japanese out a little bit in that they can't, a lot of them have trouble getting it into their heads. Not, not all of them, of course. And it's not racism, it's just kind of a, not they're not used to it. They're not, they're, oh, this guy's speaking Japanese. As soon as they see a foreign face, they want to speak English to you. Even me, who looks um, slightly more Asian, <laughs> in that I have black hair and I'm kind of Asian skin colored, you know. You know, I'm, I don't. I, it's a little bit easier for me. If I walk into a restaurant with a blonde person, even if his Japanese is much better than mine, they're gonna, they're gonna turn to me to communicate. That's just the way it is. Uh, it's a visual thing, you know. Um, you can say it's racism and blah blah blah, but uh, whatever. Uh, yeah, j uh, yeah. The thing about Japanese, I like to brag. Our, our language is so difficult. Language is so difficult. Man, kanji is difficult. Kanji alone, that's all the Japanese have to say. Look, man, we got kanji, it's difficult. And yeah, it's difficult only because you need a lot of time to memorize it. It doesn't mean you're intelligent if you learn kanji. It just means you had a lot of time. So, um, you know, congratulations to all the people who learn kanji. It means you put in the work, but it doesn't mean you're smart. I mean, look at me. So, um, yeah, and I learned all the kanji. And years ago, when I was learning the kanji, a lot of foreigners, <laughs> foreigners, foreigners like to go, hey, how many kanji you know, man? I know like a thousand. Oh, yeah, how many you know? I only know five. People got get get high on that crap. Well, let me just say right now for the record, I know all the kanji, all of them. And the only guy on YouTube who's not a native speaker who knows more kanji than me is probably Chan A Review. Yeah, or maybe Eleven Colors. 
<laughs> or maybe Hiko Simon. Okay, maybe I'm in the top ten. I don't know how many people are on YouTube. Okay, uh, enough for that. Um, yeah, so so hiragana and katakana are actually not that difficult. They're just um, they're very simple, um, al you know, phonetic alphabets. Get those under under your belt first, and they're but they're akin to uppercase and lowercase letters uh, in English. You know, like the A and the A and the B and the B don't look alike at all, but the C and C look exactly the same, right? The D and D don't look alike, right? Uh, E and E don't look alike. F and F kind of look alike. G and G don't look alike. You get the idea, right? So katakana and hiragana like that. Some of them look alike, some of them don't. Um, anyway, I guess they don't look that much alike. But kind of, you know. Anyway, it's not that difficult. So, so those are my video responses to YouTube guys. And um, on to the next.